casita nueva. Ah. <laughs> We are on our way to our new house. How are you feeling? Excited. Excited. Okay. Once we get there, we'll do like an empty house tour. We'll show you the entire house. We like packed the truck or our car um, with a bunch of stuff. We're trying to bring um, things every time we come to the house, which is gonna be every day this week pretty much. So we're trying to bring small loads and then we're gonna rent a U-Haul at the end of the week so that we can bring the bigger things and we'll be sleeping in our new house hopefully by next Thursday. We'll show you guys the house once we get there. First room yeah. on the left when you come up the stairs is the master room. Master Dad, bedroom. Whoa. Not here. This is the master bedroom. It's closet number one. And it looks out to the front of the house. Closet number two and two sinks. The shower and tub and the toilet's over here. And this looks to the backyard. Okay, and now I'm going um, to the next bathroom. The kids' bathroom. So there's a tub in here, a shower. Again, the back okay. Now these are the three bedrooms. This is, I guess, the second biggest bedroom. This is going to be Levi's room. His own little closet. And a view of the backyard. And then, hey, this is the next room, this is going to be Mia's room, and this looks out to the front of the house as well, she has her own little closet, and then the last room up here is going to be Mr. Alice's office. <laughs> Closet, and this looks out to the front as well. This is the smallest of the three rooms um, aside from the master bedroom. So he's going to take that one as his office. It's just like extra storage here. Closet in the hallway. And that's it for upstairs. Okay, so when you first walk into the house, um, to your left is a dining room and Definitely going to change out that lighting because it's not it. Um, the house um, was built in the 80s and so it has like an old school layout to it. Like it's not open concept. So it has separate rooms, but um, I don't really mind like that. This is going to be like this room here. Um, it's going to be like a little sitting room. Which sounds weird to say, like, from the sitting room, but this looks out to the front of the house as well. Um, yeah, this is where we're going to have a sitting room. And then we're going to have a sitting room. Underneath the stairs. Coat closet. And then you come this way and. This is like the den. 
um, which is going to be the playroom for the kids. Um, we're going to put a TV on this side and then a couch on this side and just make this their playroom. And I'm going to try to make it super cute for them. And then if you turn to the left, we go away to the power room, which is between the kitchen and the den. And the kitchen is right over here and everything's been like renovated. Um, like the cabinets have fresh paint and um, new hardware and the appliances are all actually brand new. They've never been used. They have the stickers and stuff on them. Um, like the hood still has the tape coverings or whatever. We have a little breakfast nook over here. We're gonna put a little table. Um, and this is most likely what we're gonna be eating most of the time. And then over here is our laundry room, which is really big actually. Um, the machines come in later this week. So I'm excited about that. Hello, sir. <laughs> cars in here, but we only have one, so um, we're going to have lots of extra room. Lots of extra room to put things in there. Use it for like, a little storage area. Okay, now we're going to move on to one of the favorite parts of the house, which is this deck. A finished deck that's closed all around. It has knitting so that bugs can't get in here. We got a really cool patio set that we're gonna put here and then we have breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever out here when the weather is nice. And then up here there's more space. We're gonna put our grill out here. Um and then there are stairs that lead to the bottom part. Like look at the backyard. It's just trees and woods. We don't have neighbors in the background. Listen to the birds. Like it just sounds so quiet and peaceful compared to where we were. Like right next to the highway. This is like the complete opposite. So this was a huge selling point for us. This is our backyard. There's like a fire pit area there. Hey mommy! Hey baby! Hey mommy! And yeah, this is the backyard. Taking a break. She's feeding that one. Zoom in. Zoom in is over here. Just twist this. Oh no. So the stairs heading to the basement. So if you get a playroom, it's going to go there. That's the door to the outside. And then our main TV is going to be here. And our couch here. So we'll have like our sound system that we currently have. Outside in the basement. And this is the lower deck. So we figured we were going to have um, their play kitchen out here and uh, something else I can't remember. pretty dark now so you can't really see the yard but it's kind of what it looks like right there is where Chema mentioned something about a fireplace or fire pit got some good trees for a hammock out there all right so this is uh, 
bonus room, still in the basement, that we plan on using most of the time for like a home gym. And then when we have guests staying with us, mainly our parents and my brother, uh, they'll stay in here. We'll have like a guest bed and stuff. Hello you guys, good morning, happy Saturday. Um, we are on our way to the house once again. We just had to stop by Home Depot really quick because we forgot part of our order yesterday that we picked up um, and we need this product in order to deep clean the house. So we're gonna be spending the next two days, today, Saturday, tomorrow, Sunday, deep cleaning the house and just taking things. Once again, we like loaded up the car full of boxes and containers. Um, so we're gonna be taking trips every day and just bringing things with us until we empty out the apartment. Hello you guys, happy Tuesday. Um, it's Tuesday, so that means there's officially two more days until we move into our house and I'm kind of freaking out a little bit because the house looks like a hot mess and the more I see things scattered everywhere, the more I'm like, how are we gonna move all of these things by Thursday? But well, let me show you the current situation that I'm dealing with <laughs> because it's a lot. The chaos right now is occurring in my kitchen because that's what I'm packing up. Um, I'm emptying out most of these cabinets today, um, most dishes and like the pantry I'm emptying out because um, I already have dinner planned for today. I'm kind of cleaning out the fridge and then um, tomorrow we're going to buy dinner. And so yeah, I'm putting away all of the pantry things. I'm trying to put away all of the dishes that are in here. This lower one is pretty much cleaned up. This top one has yet to be cleaned out. Um, this one has yet to be cleaned out. There's not a lot in these cabinets, but it's just time consuming, kind of organizing everything. We have these two boxes packed and ready to go out. Um, this stuff right here is being done. Baby things that we no longer need to use. The car seats, we took them out of the um, Jeep because we flattened out the whole entire bath so that we can stuff it. Um, that is just a bunch of pantry things as well. Some empty boxes for the dishes. Um, and our living room, Levi keeps taking out the toys that I have organized over here in the office slash playroom. Um, so yeah, it's not really organized anymore. So I'm trying to get these toys out ASAP so that he stops playing with them and stops scattering them everywhere. So that is the goal for today, to move most of the toys, if not all of the toys that are left here, and then the kitchen stuff that we can. His room, I showed you guys yesterday what it looks like. We took out the train set today, and like I said, he's taking out the cars, like that airplane. He's taking out toys that I had already put aside to take. So it's kind of a little frustrating, so I'm trying to get these out of the house so that he just, just doesn't touch them anymore um, until we're at the new house. Okay, so you guys saw the chaos. Um, but I think we're making progress. I can't really see it right now because everything's all over the place. But I think once we load today, we'll start to see progress. Yesterday I got like a really bad headache. 
from this dress and I still kind of feel it lingering it's not bad like it's manageable like I can do what I need to do um but I just I just want this move to be over moving from Chicago here was a little easier because we left a lot of things but now we're moving everything we have from here to the new house so it's just a lot more a lot more stuff because we had to fill up a giant apartment <laughs> versus what we used to live in um, so I can't even imagine moving from a house to another house like at that point we're just hiring people I'm not I'm not dealing with this but anyways I'm gonna drink some coffee because I need to just sit down for a second and like sip on a coffee I haven't had my coffee for the day so I definitely need it I just need to sit down for a little bit because I'm just like overwhelmed good morning guys it is finally moving day we are so excited we are actually at u-haul picking up our truck so that we can go to our storage unit and pick up whatever we left there and then we're going back to our apartment to grab all of the heavier bigger things that we weren't able to move during the week um and then that's it my mother-in-law is currently at the house with the kids um it's been a huge blessing having her with us because we would not have been able to do what we did in the last few days without her so i'm really really grateful for that because we literally just have the big things to bring um to the house and then those things are literally just being put where they belong and then that's pretty much it we're done and then we just have to build whatever is left but yeah we're leaving to the storage now alex is picking up the truck and we're gonna load it up and head over to the apartment so we'll see you there you sure they didn't have a bigger TV when you went? Hmm. Not sure I feel like you. Uh. Okay, I apologize if I look a hot mess. We just finished loading up the U-Haul. That took so long and it was really hard because it's so many stairs here. Um, something I'm definitely not gonna miss once we're in a house. We still have stairs, but, but these stairs are hard, <laughs> hard, hard, hard. Um, but yeah, we loaded everything up. Um, so now we're heading to the house to unload everything. Um, but then we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. We're almost there. So now I'm just waiting for Alex and the other Alex <laughs> to come down so that we can head over to the house. Good morning, today is Monday. I'm gonna close out this moving vlog that's taken like five days to record um, with one more shot. We're gonna show Levi and Mia their little downstairs gym area that we set up for them. They haven't seen it, so we're gonna go show that to them now. And then I'll do a separate vlog um, showing what the house looks like once everything is built and everything's hung up and we're pretty much done because right now it's still we still have some things left to build so we're gonna go show them their gym and I will see you guys next time bye Oh my goodness! Thank you. 